yeah this uh this young woman had a uh, a really rough go of it man and you know we'd be remiss if we didn't say that there had been rumors and whispers for years and years but i have to be honest i always just sort of chalk that up to like you would hear a professional athlete who maybe was unfaithful on the road sort of thing and, and i know there's been a lot of talk about that in the wrestling business but i reconciled it in my mind at the time hey well cheating's not a crime but goodness gracious what we read was not only criminal but vile and horrific and beyond the scope of anything that i think most of us could have ever imagined i mean if you read vince's playboy interview you know his attitude towards some of this um that was revealed 20 years ago and he's had that other lawsuit hanging around for like 40 years ago that i guess settled last year and and we know that there were there was over 12 million dollars where where he made settlement so it would be silly for us to say that this is the only issue i mean where did the rest of this money go she only got a million and i guess she's suing because she didn't get the rest of her 3 million as and now I, you got to think that she's going to receive some punitive damages if this goes to a jury or whatever but she's probably going to be getting a lot more than mm. two more at this point Ugh. Uh, but more importantly, I, I think you hit on something there. It's all the other people that are being, that have been affected, not necessarily just other victims in the traditional sense of the word, not diminishing what their experience was at all. I'm glad that this victim, I'm not going to say their name, but she brought it forward. It was very brave for her to not only have this filed publicly and not withhold her name, but also go ahead and share all the details. And it set a precedent because a lot of times when a, a lawsuit like this comes out, they don't, they don't issue so many, quite so many details, but we saw that happen with P Diddy a few months ago. And that thing was settled very quickly. I don't know if that's what this will wind up being, but there are a lot of other people that were affected in a negative way. I can't imagine having my grandkids read that about me, but Vincent man's a grandfather, you know, both Stephanie and. Uh, Shane have children and they're going to read that and his wife's going to read that and his daughter's going to read that. And this is a guy who was a billionaire. And at some point you have enough money where you don't have to worry about running out. You can do what you want every day until you die. Sort of thing. Vince has been there for a long time. I got to think part of the reason he stayed in the game so long is he liked the action and he liked working, but he was trying to build some sort of a legacy. And I think we both know how he feels about his dad and his grandfather and man, I don't know a way that the McMahon name can't sort of be whitewashed as much as you can from WWE history now, because that's what should happen. But that this is just an ending. I don't think any of us could have ever predicted. No, no. And you're right. That's the, that. And when I, you know, I was talking earlier about the innocent people, I was speaking specifically immediate family, Stephanie Shane, the grandkids who I, I I think I've met him, but very, very briefly, uh, Paul and, and Stephanie's kids. But, they, I mean, they're going to go to school. What is Shane's son? Is a freshman, I think, in college? Yeah, he's in college, yeah. He's going to show up. At, he's He had to show up to school knowing that everybody has read or most have read about his grandfather. How do you react to that? How does it... A young man. How does a young man react to that? In the daughters or the granddaughters, it's like the name McMahon. I think you know it's he's going to be right there with Chris Benoit in the minds of a lot of people. It'll be a name not to be mentioned. The way things look at this point, and look, I was I fought with Vince. I battled with him. I did everything I could to undermine him. But at the end of it all, I respected the guy that beat my ass. Because that's what fighters do. If somebody's good enough to beat me at something, you've got to respect their abilities. And even for me, this is difficult. I can't even imagine what it's like for for the kids and the grandkids. It's just disgusting. 
in the name. You talked about it. And you go into Vince's office and he's got a picture of his dad and his grandfather and newspaper articles from, you know, things that his father accomplished and his grandfather accomplished. And gone. Dark closet. Stick it in a box and hide it. Nobody wants to be reminded anymore. I mean, was it just today? They wiped him off. They wiped Vince McMahon off the WWE and TKO corporate website. He's, he didn't exist starting today. And that's not going to change. Nobody's going to no. change your mind. Harvey Weinstein's not going to get an award for anything. You know what I mean? He's done. Nobody, he's done. Nobody, yeah, yeah, nobody wants to be seen having dinner with Harvey Weinstein whenever that happens, if it ever happens. And that's the same fate. But it's it was self-inflicted. It was self-inflicted. Nobody did it to him. Brett... <laughs> Remember Brett screwed Brett? Well, Vince screwed Brett, Vince. It's just, whew. it's I, I don't even want to say that. That's how bad it, it is. It, it, it's all uncomfortable and awkward. And I guess we should just be honest. We, uh, you and I are, are out of our comfort zone talking about sexual abuse. We're used to getting on here and making fun of Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Honky Tonk Man. This is, yeah, no, let me give, give, let's get back to that. Come on, please. But I feel like, you know, we need to have the conversation because it is going to have a lot of implications. I mean, I'm not, I'm not borrowing trouble here or wishing for the worst, but I am trying to be realistic. Never have I ever seen the word traffic used in a civil lawsuit. Never have I ever heard about the feds raiding someone's house for a civil lawsuit. I'm saying all that to say that's all been acknowledged that the feds went to Vince's house looking for stuff. And the word traffic being used here and the details within make me wonder if this is the first of multiple shoes to drop along the way. There's a lot of collateral damage with real people, with real families. Unfortunately, Johnny Laurinaitis is detailed as doing some awful things. He got the hatchet immediately when this rumor first popped up back in the summer of 2022. The details were withheld, but Vince was still brought back. Johnny was shown the door and all of that is now going to be investigated. As a reminder, Johnny Laurinaitis's wife has had some health challenges and now she's reading this. And when you think about how tied in he and his family are to pro wrestling, whether it's by marriage or by blood. It's just not good for wrestling and awful for the Lauren Nidus family, specifically his wife. Well, this is, and again, I want to kind of get off how horrible this is because it's just the more we talk about it, the worse I feel, <laughs> but on the business side of things, where are we going to get a good look at what Ari Emanuel is all about and Nick Khan? It's so one thing to go out and do deals, massive deals. It's another thing to take over a company in the worst crisis of probably any crisis management team in Los Angeles or New York has ever had to deal with. This is right up there. I mean, this is this is worse than Harvey Weinstein's in, in many respects. Um, I don't even know how you could judge it. I guess that was a stupid thing for me to say. So I wish I could take it back, but I won't, or I can't. But <laughs> two years ago or three years ago, whenever it was, Ari Emanuel would have probably chuckled at the idea that he was going to be in the wrestling business someday. No doubt. Nick Khan probably didn't have any idea six or seven or eight years ago when he was rocking and rolling in Hollywood that he would be who he is today in the wrestling business. These people are new to the game. Yes. And oh, by the way, look what we just inherited. So we're going to find out what they're all about. 